Sometimes, despite your best efforts, vaccine refrigerators break down, placing vaccines at risk. If that happens, you will need to know what steps to take. You have two main tasks when a vaccine refrigerator stops working. First, protect the vaccines by moving them. Then, check the cause of the problem so that you can restore the refrigerator to working order. In order to protect the vaccines while the refrigerator is repaired, you'll need to move them to other cold chain equipment where they can be kept between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. For a problem that can be solved quickly, use a cold box or vaccine carrier lined with conditioned ice packs for temporary storage. If you're not sure how long it will take, do that first. For a problem that might take longer to solve, the vaccines should be stored in another refrigerator. If you do not have another refrigerator at your facility, consult with your supervisor and follow your facility's contingency plan for moving vaccines to an alternate location. No matter where you move the vaccines, always keep a freeze indicator with the freeze-sensitive vaccines. The other main task is to restore the refrigerator to working order. First, check the electricity, gas, kerosene, or solar power supply. Deal with any interruptions by restoring the power or refueling the unit. If a lack of electricity, gas, kerosene, or solar power is not the problem, contact your supervisor and ask for a repair service visit. Do not attempt to repair the refrigerator yourself unless the problem is a simple one that you have been trained to deal with. Record the breakdown on the daily temperature monitoring chart. Now you know the main things to do when a refrigerator breaks down. Protect your vaccines and take steps to make sure the refrigerator is restored to working order.